Hey fam, hey besties, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, me, my name is Abby Cook, the one and only. I have never been more excited than I am today. Wow, Airpies landed in a boy state, a boy international airport on Wiki. Ah, oh my god, I can't wait for you. This is a full video, a full video of first commissioning, and I know that you would love to watch this video and make sure you watch it to the end because, oh god. I don't want to talk too much. I know what talk plenty talk. Now, before we continue, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? Have you? Okay, if you have not, please do that. Okay, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I beg, make me share this video. Yes, let the doubting Thomases know that finally, finally, a boy state now has an international airport. International airport, oh. In fact, you need to listen to the governor, governor's speech. Please, can we clear from here, please? Thank you, thank you.
Okay. Hey, can you stay this side small, yeah? Hey, can you stay this side small? No, 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 the gift of humanity, you have always changed the face of earth through the gift of your son, the great mind. Israel, as a nation, was subjugated under Egypt. Moses took a mission that was calamized in the gift of your son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, Israel is the military strength of the entire world. Israel is the economic hub of the entire world. When Christianity came, he gave Constantine the greatest of power and he made Christianity the greatest religion of the entire world. Time has continued to pass. He used very simple minds in changing the world. The story of Israel the story of the Christendom is a repeat in the Holy Spirit. You give us your servant, humble though, David. When he came into power, he came on a zoom. Today, he's writing the history of the Holy Spirit uniquely. The 27th of April, 2023, will never ever be forgotten in the minds of every genuine citizen of the country. Ebony is housing an international airport. Ebony is housing an international airport. Ebony is housing an international airport. Ebony is housing an international shop. Ebony is housing multiple internationally designed flyovers. Ebony is housing multiple concrete rules of international standards just by the gift of your servant David. We thank you for his gift. We thank you for his courage. We thank you for his political will. We thank you for his large heart. We thank you for his fearlessness. He's the only one that can start his seed in the dry land. He's the only one that can presume to mow down a hill with a shock. The history of this day today will never ever remain the same. Ebony can joyously globally in the course of coast to coast of the generation. Today, the flag is very proud. Thank you for the gift of your son. Thank you for the gift of your son. We are home at the place and we just have some more to do. This one has some more to do. Thank you. 
Arrival of airpiece to avoid international airports. <laughs> People came out in their large numbers. So welcome Airpiece to Airboy International Airport. History is made guys. This is unbelievable. Where are the doubting Thomases? They should come and see for themselves. This is really amazing. This is a dream come true. Never in the history of Airboy State did we expect, at least not so soon, this type of thing. Well done. But today, it has finally happened. And we are so excited about it. Look at people taking pictures. The Bonyas are indeed happy. When the righteous is on the show, the people rejoice. If he's not around, the representative of the Director General of Civil Aviation should please come forward. Mr. Deba, your place to step forward and address us. Representing the Director General of Civil Aviation. The 
just landed, guys. This one is coming from Abuja. The second flight just landed, guys. This one is coming all the way from Abuja. This one from Lagos or Abuja? Lagos, this is Abuja. Abuja. Okay, the first one is from Abuja. Okay, this one is from Lagos. I've never come. Okay. Okay. Okay.
to bring this to fruition in Nigeria at this economic time. We only pray that this great achievement, our dear father and successor, we continue in that footprint, in this sustenance, and when he has come to stay. We shall grow both economically, incrementally, and join the world back. Thank you and thank all. It is our thoughts to join the rest of the world. We are realizing our real abundance of this, it will not happen tomorrow. We need the entire abundance to make this report work. All the black copies to bring that aircraft here. If you build this in Anambra, in two days, that place will be full of aircraft. Abundance, bring your money here. We need at least three airports to service the north, to service Abuja, and to service the river. That will not grow. We need investment. Our incoming governor and father. The best way to grow IGR is not on the street. For she, those who are selling vegetables. Drop three aircrafts here and you can computerize your IGR fleet. Computerize. The best way to interact is to go to the world market. We shall no longer be shopping and to meet. We shall be shopping at Dubai. We shall be shopping in China. We shall be shopping in America. The best way is to sell our education. People can interact and people can come to Boise State to study in the University of ICT and then in the University of Ariola. Thank you, Excellency, and welcome to the world. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. They should not leave that place. We are spying all the greatness to the Lord our own because His word is perfect and all His ways are just. I want to congratulate all the boys for this beautiful thing that we are all witnesses today. When the first airplane landed, it was emotional for me. Tears came out of my eyes. Why was it so? What started as a plan has become a reality. There are so many people that have plans, but those plans never materialize. It's of a man to make a plan, but it is of God to bring it to pass. Today, God has brought to pass the plan of His Excellency that started like as a dream. We are all here now seeing the first aircraft, the second aircraft landed within 30 minutes. This is a thing of joy. And it's a beautiful thing that we are all here to witness it. And I want to say to the incoming governor, this is God beautifying you before the time. This is God adding colors, adding crowns, and adding feathers to you. And God will give you all the strength to make and move upon the state even much more for them. Once again, His Excellency, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. What you have done will transcend times and seasons. Yesterday night, we were here, the Bible and the pastors, to have a night with you. And we know that the airways 
the Lord brevity, spiritual loss, and all the prince of the power of the earth have all been put in subjection. There shall be safety, there shall be progress, there shall be life, there shall be prosperity for everyone, abundance and non abundance that will come here. The gate is open, the door is open. Thank you very much. On behalf of the traditional institution, may I invite the Royal Majesty, as a child of Kumar Sefa, Shema, South East Traditional Institution. Yes.
Definitely, you know, you've done very well. And uh, some people say that you did very well in the area of infrastructure. I said, well, you didn't know anything about this administration. I, I take time to look at you and see what you've been able to do in the area of health. And um, when you go to the United University of Health Sciences, what you have put there and the type of equipment that is in that university, if you look at it and uh, quantify it very well, you find out that uh, what you did there is what is here. And I want to thank you, Excellency, for that. And to thank the buyers for being in your administration and voting for us very much. And I want to assure them that they will be to do good and um, give their people what they need in terms of uh, leadership. So whatever thing you need, don't start here to judge us. Judge us at the end, as you're judging us today at the end of the table. Thank you very much.
Thank you. 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 And you adjust it. Adjust it to me. Just adjust it. Just like you say. Tell me Praise the Lord. The first thing we do is to stand up in appreciation and sing one song to God. Shall we? Yeah. We are grateful.
I remember that nobody gave us a space. Even when we were trying to do this place and Enugu Airport was in ruins, as the chairman of Southeast Governors Forum, I was going to meet my father and friends, taking the leaders of Southeast to beg for money to renovate it. A lot of our brothers and sisters, they were queried, why should we be building a port? We should take the money and renovate Enugu. It was in a meeting in Enugu and this speaker, the incoming governor in matters of this, he was the one who took up the quarrel. But the chief village started the quarrel, quarrel of liberation as governor. And I'm so happy that I understood it here. And I continue the quarrel of liberation. And I think the speaker is going to be worse than two of us. And this is our confidence. And so, our dear President Buhari not only gave us what he didn't give to even uh, airport, he gave us to the ministry 10 billion. And not only to do the domestic wing, he also approved money to do that of the international wing. And so, and immediately approved this place. And some people continue to want to downgrade us. But it's very difficult for them. The algebra we have pushed is very difficult for anyone to swallow. And so, this is not cargo airport. It is international of international standard airport. And when you come here, you will see the international wing of this airport. You will see the local wing of the airport. And we are grateful to God. And so what I'm going to do here is to attempt to show appreciation to people that God used to put this place together. It's difficult to exhaust it, but it will not be good not to attempt. Let me start with this, my beautiful wife. Sometimes she will, she will think that I'm too disciplined a person. And she will ask people to commend her, you know, for marrying a very tough husband like me. <laughs> but I never believed that I'm tough. Always very much afraid of this beautiful wife of mine. And so I want to thank you so much and all your children for tolerating me. Just last week, they posted a family chat. Time spent with families in quality time. I fired back. Money spent on families in quality money. <laughs> Equation balanced. Everybody working in place. So I thank you together with all our children and my larger family, especially Austin, my immediate younger brother. Thank you very, very much. I must thank Mr. President Buhari. Even when we were challenged and there is no money anyway for equipment, he wrote a letter to the Minister of Finance. He said you must find money, even if it is a loan. This airport must stand. And let me say that the name of this airport as approved by the House of Assembly and uh, Mr. Speaker is a witness that the name of this airport is President Mohamedou Buhari International Airport. State. If you say Buhari is not good for you, Buhari is good for me. Buhari is good for Buhari State. And so we love him and we thank him for the success of this airport. We thank also the Honorable Minister of Aviation, so delighted in this project that even when he, you know, at the end of the first tenor, 
he wasn't sure coming back or not. But he said, look, if I don't make it back to that ministry, we will tell whoever is coming to sign the approval. This is the fastest approved airport in the whole Nigeria. <laughs> Honorable Minister, thank you very much. And my good friend, Captain Akali, thank you very, very much. And the governor of CBN, my brother, His Excellency Emefele, thank you very, very much. And the Minister of Finance, our sister, uh, Mrs. Zena, thank you very much. And the Palm Secretary of the Ministry of Finance, thank you very much. And let me thank very, very especially the Speaker of the State House of Assembly. So many reasons to thank him. When we started our second tenor, we came together as a state leaders, and we said we want to do three mega projects. One in the north, one in the central, one in the south. And so we said we will build a stadium that is the biggest in Nigeria. We will build a university that will be the best in the whole of West Africa, and we build the best airport. And so, we started the university in the south. Today is a success. We thank President Buhari. We started the, the stadium. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will invite this speaker to purchase your people with a very large sum. If he doesn't do it, he will know you will cut his boots. Thank you, our market women. And some of you are still owing. <laughs> and so, when we started this project, we completed the university and we were challenged with funds. Speaker came and they begged me, say, leave the project in the in the north, the stadium. Let us complete this airport. It is with a good heart. He didn't care about the consequences as speaker from the north, what his people would say. But he preferred that we do this that is in central. But it's because of exposure, it's because of good heart. Because the airport is for everybody, it's even beyond the people of the United States. And he continued to tell me this. And when we had to go and borrow 10 billion to buy the equipment, he summoned the House of Assembly from their recess. And not only that they approved it, they also donated their constituency projects money, you know, three years. They donated two years to that of David University. As speaker, they never donated any to the stadium. And that's why I am still working at the stadium to lift up the speaker. And by the next two weeks, 80% of that stadium will have been completed. And we shall hand it back. So let me thank you, Mr. Speaker, and all the House of Assembly members for your selflessness and your commitment. That's why we have this place. And to our dear Khan Chairman of Southeast and all the ministers and bishops and archbishops, including those who are against me, I thank you very much. One thing that ministers and no ministers must know is that there is an anointing on me. And nobody can remove that anointing. You know? So, if you are a bishop, you try to stop our election. Your bishop will try to stop our election. Did they stop? No. Were we not elected? Yes. Don't we have divine mandates praying for us? Don't we have uh, the can uh, chairman and the can 
bishops pray for us? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord?
thank you. I harassed him, I harassed him. Sometimes I threaten to beat and I say I'll put the blame on you. That is him. And he has done everything for this to happen. And my very hard working commission of police. We 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 had to, you know, contract. People just believe that they can come and take the money of uh, can challenge us, including the equipment. And so what is remaining now is the uh, the airfield lightning which we are paid for both for the Taizi way and the, for the wrong way. And so work continues on that. And that's why we have just awarded the Taizi way. We don't need to award the Taizi way because the width of the wrong way is very unusual. But we needed to have this place to be the best and to meet all standards. So job is going to start next week, you know, uh, in this place. But let me say that Going forward from the first week of May, we intend to fund free of charge two aircraft per week, two from Lagos, two from Abuja. Anyone that will use this place, you don't need to pay any money. You don't need to pay. You don't need to pay. Just know the dates of flight. You will come here, and those who are taking off from here, same aircraft, you don't need to pay. We will continue to pay for the next four weeks. And I know that the enthusiasm of the governor elect, he will continue this because he has a large heart. Until this airport becomes the busiest airport in the country. And then let me announce also that Mr. President will be coming in less than 10 days to commission this uh, airport. And then we have offered this airport again to Mr. President for the federal government to take it over and concession it. That is what we help the airport to be busy and that is what we sustain the airport. Government is not a good manager of business. But what is our interest? The idea that we come from it. What is our interest? The people that we come and go from this place. What is our interest? Ebony State has come of age. And so, we will do that. Let me uh, appeal to uh, Chugum. When we finish, we must allow every Ebonya that is here to enter through the back. I want them to see what God has given to us. It is only in Dubai you see this kind of thing. Okay. And so, we are very grateful. We have created jobs. In Nebi Dubai University, we created jobs of over 1,800. These are direct jobs. In this airport here, we've created jobs of over 500 people. And the more, and the more we've created jobs of over 400 people. Time will fail us to let you know the jobs we've created in this administration. But we are going to have a pullout day, a day of accountability. And then we will let our body people know what we have done for them. So people continue to ask us, why do you have this so beautiful, uh, um, you know, lodge in Abuja? I say that my wife cannot afford to sleep any place that is less than that beautiful place because she's a beautiful woman. But that is by the way. But the reason for that is to always have the best for the state. So that those who don't believe that we are, we know that we are. They should know that. So finally, let me thank my dear pastor and the leader of Divine Mandate Pastors. Thank you very much. Even last night, there was PG here by her, Divine Mandate Pastors. And uh, you can see the devil. There was no rain yesterday. Last night, rain started. But they prayed. And at the time the aircraft would come, you can see we have dry weather. And so I want to thank you very, very uh, uh, highly for all that you have prayed us through. We are grateful together with your husband. Thank you very much. We are very grateful. Our party leaders, we are grateful to you. And let me especially thank Chief Elechi. Chief Elechi brought me up. 
He gave me my first job, party chairman, for close to five years. The man trained me. And when they talk about ranking, I'll be always with him that ranking is about experience. Ranking is about understanding the job. And that every ranking you need to know, you should go to this man, a tactician, a strategist.